Well, welcome one and welcome all to my channel. My name is Robert Monkey and we're back in Subnautica and we're right next to the Aurora. In this episode I'm going to be focusing on tech and building. I know I say that in every episode and then I get distracted and do something completely different. But, uh, yeah, we're going to start by just checking out this little pile of debris. But not only that, I'm looking for that big you know, chunk that I was in last time because there's a couple of little bits that I found when I was editing that I missed, you see, and I was like, God damn it, all to hell. So I want the battery charger, for example. What the hell is that? Let's just have a look at that. That's my light. A coffee vending machine. <laughs> yes. Definitely got to get one of those. I love my coffee. All right, let's see. What else we got around here? What is this? What is that? Sea glide, we're good. We're good. We're good. Grab trap. Oh, look at that. Some lady. That's weird, huh? Some notes I can't pick up. That's fine. Well, we got little bits everywhere. But I'm going to continue the hunt for that big chunk of ship that I was in. Um, I can't exactly remember where it was. It was quite close to a mushroom forest. I remember that much. Was it over this way? God, this is the danger zone over this way. Although saying that, someone has challenged me to go back and get a screenshot of the Reaper. <laughs> like, which I intend to do, but I don't know. Maybe get the Seamoth first? Maybe Seamoth? I don't know. Seamoth is calling my name I'm really wanting to get it made in this episode. Ooh, what the hell is that? Just pick it up, I don't know. Oh, I love finding little bits. Uh, what else we got? Vending machine. Nice! I'm having that. That means I can get snacks. Yes! Nothing in there. What else have we got there? Look at that! A little forklift truck. That's interesting. Wouldn't do me any good though, but you know. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What is that down there? What's that? Beacon! Yes! That's the other half of the beacon blueprint. Nice one. Beautiful. Finally got the beacon, right. Because everyone's been saying, use the beacons! Especially if I'm going to set up another base. So... We're getting there, folks, you know. Slowly but surely. I'm making progress. That looks... Is that a cave entrance down there? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I am not sure about this. This is death, isn't it? Is that quartz? I'm just going to grab that while I'm here. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, I'm just gonna have to take that. That's fair enough. I couldn't find my way out. God damn it. I couldn't get the sea glide out quick enough. Oh well. Didn't take much off me anyway, so not too bad. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna stay out of there for now. Just just for now. Alright, just... I need oxygen. That's why. I need to find this bit of ship. Because I want to get the battery charger. You see? And... I noticed in the last episode when I was editing that I missed the battery charger. Right, I'm heading back the way, that's not good. Keep going. Oh, wow. Oh, I just love this game. There is just something kind of soothing about it. Even though it's nerve-wracking as hell. Does that make any sense? It's kind of calm and blissful, peaceful. But at the same time, God, it's awful. It's frightening. Um, I don't like where I am. I don't like this area. We got bone sharks. Now, if I, I'm still to scan a bone shark. Thirty seconds. Oh God, I'm gonna usual, usual. Oh, there's a bone shark up there. I'll scan that one when I'm up there. All right, let's go. 
I'm going, I'm going. Oh wow, I'm way over here. This is the danger zone as far as I'm concerned. Where did that bugger go? There he is. Let's go and see if I can scan this. Ah, that's my light, mate. Alright, let's try and scan this guy. There's, there's, I was trying to get him last time, I just didn't quite get all of him. So let's just see if I can just cheese this a little bit. Just don't bite me, mate. Yes! Get the hell out. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's enough of that area. I'm, I'm going. This isn't the place. It wasn't this far out, so I'm going back. I'm being very specific today. I don't want to do too much exploring or whatever. Or I'm trying not to get distracted. I was noticing in my editing, you know, I'm saying, yeah, let's make the mobile vehicle bay. And then instantly doing something else because I got distracted, you know. What the fuck is that? Passing 100 meters. What is that? Efficiency decreased. All right, we need to scan. Anchor pod. What does that even mean? Anchor pods. They're actually... Okay. What is that wee thing down there? What's that? Pick up gel sack. Right, I need to go to the surface. Jesus. Alright. Yep. Pushing my luck here. Yeah, so I'm going to make the Seamoth. I'm going to make the mobile vehicle bay. Not in that order. But, uh... <laughs> Maybe it won't be in that order. <laughs> Somehow. Somehow if I can mess it up, I'll do it. If I can find a weird way of doing things, I'll do it. Right, uh, look. I'm getting distracted already. See what I mean? I'm just, what is all this down here? I want to know everything, but... Maybe I should just go back. Oh, God. Go back, man. What's that down there? Oh, there's just too much good stuff down here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, dear. Okay. So it's like that, is it? Uh, anything? Oh, I can scan that. Scanner room. I've got that, mate. I'm good. I better be careful here, eh? 200 meters. That's going to take a hell of a time getting back up there. What have we got in there? Nothing! Holy shit, I'll need to come back here. This isn't what I was looking for, although this is going to be excellent for goodies. Go up, mate, you're 200 metres down. Oh shit, I've made a mess of that. Go on. 30 seconds. Nope. Go on. Do you know, I'm already thinking about my next playthrough. And what am I doing? Get this... Oh, Jesus. In my deliberations, I'm going, yeah, maybe a permadeath playthrough, but I'm absolutely hopeless at this game. <laughs> Oh, I'm just so terrible. There you go. I just made that. Right, I'm heading back. That's it. What is this little thing? Nice. I'll read it when I get back, folks. Don't worry. There's all sorts of weed. things in here, isn't there? There's a little barnacle again. What did they actually do last time? I can't remember. I don't know what they do. Barnacle. Right, let's head back. I'm off. Riding weeds. Did I get that? I'm sure I did. Yeah, you got it. Furled papyrus. Papyrus. Ah, uh, why not? Yeah, let's just let's try and get everything. Right, where is the friggin' pod that way? We're good. Whoa. There's a big bit of shit here. Oh, shit on my face. I got fright there. What do we have in here? Oh, I need to cut through here. Nice, I'm going up. Here I am getting distracted again, folks. <laughs> I need to head back soon, get some food and water as well, but I'm going down and I'm cutting the shit out of that. Let's put that in there just now. Yep, I'm happy with that. And let's go. We're using this e-glide. Here we are. Let's find that entrance again. That was it just there, wasn't it? Cut 
through here. Hopefully I'll make it before that sun shark gets me. Oh dear. Is that it? That is it. Let's go. Holy shit balls, what's going on? Alright, let's get the scanner out. See what we can scan here, huh? Is that cutting through again? Another one? Jesus Christ, let's go. I think I'll have to head out after this. And there is a sand shark absolutely going mental out there. I'll cut through here, then I'll go and get some air. Oh, that doesn't sound good at all. That sounds like it's right next to me. Can those sun sharks get through these little holes here? Eh? I can't hope not. Alright, let's go. Cool beans. Sun's coming up. There's that wee sun shark there. Get out of here. Look at him guarding the bloody entrance. Look at that get. Where's my propulsion cannon? That's what I need. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Here we go, we're good. Get, get, get in there! What the f f f That was weird. Anyway, grab that. Oh yes, I don't need to go the other one. This is what I was looking for this whole time. Oh, and we've got another little blueprint. we got a modification station. Whatever the hell that is. What's that? Don't know. What else we got? Grab that. Uh, I don't really need this, but just grab it anyway, just for the hell of it. Uh, we got that. Take that. We got modification station fragments in here. Oh, what else we got? Careful of my oxygen here. Thirty seconds. Yeah, it's time to bail. Time to bail. Nothing. Metal salvage. I suppose I haven't scanned that yet. I'll just scan it and read up in a little while. And I will be reading up in a little while, folks. Don't worry. Calm yourselves. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen yeah, yeah. Efficiency decreased. I bet. Holy moly! I was, I was right on me there. <laughs> oh, that gave me a right good fright, that. That was fun, though. What is it about getting a fright that's fun? Why are we just weird creatures, aren't we? Us humans. Head back. And then I'm going to focus on building a little bit. And I'm thinking about that Seamoth, folks. Oh, yeah. Again, watching my playthrough, you know, when I'm editing, I'm thinking, yeah, I need the Seamoth to go into that deep cave that I went in, into. It's pretty, there's a lot of things that become quite apparent when I'm watching myself, you know. The obvious one being that I'm a complete twonk, but like, apart from that. The other one was the tiger plant, of course. Absolutely ridiculous. I just could not see that it was firing barbs at me for some reason. I couldn't figure it out. It's weird. In the moment, sometimes you miss things, but I don't know. Right, so, I've got a gel sack. <laughs> it's food. You just eat that, do you? That's weird. Gel sack. Mmm. Mobile vehicle bay. That's what I want to make. Alright, and the beacon. Copper ore and titanium. Oh. Beacon. Hehe. <laughs> Craft it up, yes. Ooh, little beacon. Couple of those. Lovely. So, I take it you just eat them, folks? Is that it? Just these gel sack things? They're just food? Yeah. That's not bad, actually. That done me. I can hear you, but I'm going to go and do something else. I'm not getting distracted by you. Alright, so just no. Alright. Let's make... The mobile vehicle bay! <laughs> I'm excited. Wow, it takes a while, eh? That is a thing of beauty. Alright, so, let's cook the peeper. A whole fish? What? 
when did I pick that up? Uh, okay. Right. I don't know what I'm doing. What do you know? Right, so release the vehicle bay. Where do I, where do I release it, folks? Is it... To, to, is this part of my base, or is this something different, or... Mobile vehicle bay, let's assign it to there. Why not? What do I do? What do I do? There it goes. Oh, it's going to the surface anyway. That's fair enough. Alright. Wow, what? What is... What? What? Climb. Use vehicle bay. Vehicles. The sea moth! Expand. The sea moth, folks. Right, I need to make another power cell. Okay. Alright, that's cool. I like it. Alright, I didn't need to come all this way, but never mind. Can I just grab that? I can't grab it anymore. Pack up the mobile vehicle base, should I? Just put it closer? Whoa! Don't do it, mate. Don't do me like that, you dirty git. Alright, so I need another battery, do I? Now, someone... Someone... Had a little trick here. I want to try something here. Just let me try something a wee minute. It says that you can make a scanner even though you've got an empty battery. And that looks to be the case. So now I've got an extra scanner. Right, now... Unload battery, there it is. Right, got it. Got there in the end, folks. Never mind. A bit slow, but we got it. Uh, let's just put one of the scanners away, that one. Now I've got two batteries that work. And that's cheeky. That's a cheeky little way around it. I just wanted to try it. I won't be doing that from now on. You know, is that an acceptable exploit? It feels a little bit cheaty to me. Someone else in the comment section, actually a couple of people, have suggested that I change the setting for the PDA that when I use it, it sort of pauses the game so I can read underwater and things like that, but I don't know, that feels a little bit cheaty as well. I just want to kind of have a little bit of realism, as real as it can be, you know, as real as it, it can feel. And uh, I don't want to use little cheaty things, it's not, it's not really my way of doing it. I just want to, I want to play the game as intended, but that's what I'm saying. Are these little exploits, are they allowed? Are they, what do you think about that, folks? I am making a power cell. Right, how do I do that? <laughs> I forgot, instantly forgotten, like, uh, power cell. Two batteries and some silicone rubber. Now, what do you know? That hasn't worked. Did I put the batteries away? I put one of them away. So we'll need two rubber, what are you doing? Power cell. Nice. Right, so I've got the power cell, I just need the ingot and the lubricant. Now where is that ingot? There it is. Uh, lubricant? I do have some somewhere. There it is. And there's an ingot in there as well. Oh, never mind. Right, so there. I Now, what am I doing? I'm getting st Oh, Jesus Christ, mate. Lead, there you go. Got that. Is there glass in there? Yes! Ha <laughs> Sea moth is ready. Now I can just keep that running, yes? Someone says I can just leave that running the whole time. That's something, isn't it? I'm not sure about that. Let me know, folks, about that one. Yep, yep, yep. Vital yep, yep, yep. And that will do it. Now I've got the sea moth to make. So let's hit the road. <laughs> this is nice. Cool, like. Alright, mobile vehicle bay. Let's get on it with the sea moth. The sea moth is a fast, safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. 
Sure thing. Okay, what just happened? What's going on? Oh, the beautiful little sea moth. Look at that thing. Enter. Oh, shit. Straight into. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm a learner. <laughs> oh, look at this thing. Light on and off. What else can I do? That still takes me up. That still takes me down. Oh, man, this is cool. So I take it I can go a bit deeper with this thing, yeah? How fast is it? Is there a... Is there two speeds or one speed? Whoops, what was that I just hit? Sorry! Just get my uh, sea legs here. So I'm going to need to account for the size of the thing now. This is cool, man. This is so good. So, it must still take damage. I can see that, you know, there's like... Oh, there's another. Sorry. Oh. So you just basically... So even you just have fish. Any old fish. Look at that. 77%. What are these little slots for at the bottom there? Any idea, folks? Oh, you gotta be careful with this thing, huh? Oh, shit. Can you actually scan with this? Is there a scanner on it, or how do you scan? Or is this just for... You go to a place, then you jump out quickly, you do your thing. Is that how it goes? Or what's the deal, folks? You know, so you find something, you quickly jump out, however you jump out, how do you get out of the thing? How do you get out again? Exit B. Then you do your thing. Now I've got the scanner room, so I'm good, but and then you get back in. Just as an example, you know. The mushroom place. Oh my god. Right, so they can still attack you, but obviously if I don't take damage. Now, there was a vehicle somewhere around here, some sort of Altera vehicle. I remember being told about it, but I never did find it. Let's have a good look around here. Oh, this is cool, I can go a lot deeper. Whoops, never mind that. Passing 100 meters. Yeah, yeah, Oxygen well aware of it, mate. Decreased. Cyclops Bridge Fragment. Let's get that. Fair enough. Let's get back in here then. <laughs> I like the way it stays exactly the way you left it. Whoa, back up a bit. Alright. Alright, let's fire around here for a bit. I want to see if I can find this uh, ship it was talking about. Whoops, sorry about that. Coming through. So we're trying to avoid the shoals as well, eh? Because everything causes damage to the sea moth. What is it made out of bloody aluminium or something? Wow. Has anyone ever built here? I, I love the ambience here. You know? I'd be... I'd maybe build a wee base here. Whoa! Shit on me. Wow, that took a massive hit. Right, I need to be careful. Oh dear, we're sparking. What's going on? Warning. Maximum depth reached. Pile damage oh. imminent. Okay. That's... That's not good. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. Or the look of it. Detecting multiple Leviathan class life forms in the region. 
Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? Oh, are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Multiple leviathans. That can't be good, eh? I mean, that doesn't sound good to me. That sounds like maybe I should just get the hell out of here. Yeah, the way she's speaking. You know, she's giving me a wee clue there, saying, just, you sure you want to die? In fact, I am sure. I don't want to die. I'm just going to get going. All right, so, see you later. Warning, maximum depth reach. So, 200 meters. Okay. All right. Oh, shit, 28. So, 200 meters is its limit. What was that? What is that? That's big, whatever that is. Did you see that? In the distance there. That was some size. Whatever that was. Alright, time to go. That's it. I think we're good. I think we are good to go. Still didn't find that ship though. I really do want to find it. Yeah, I love this place. Really cool. Oops. Oh, not again. Don't do that. I don't like that very much when it happens. God, I'm down to 20. Absolutely getting my uh, ass kicked. I need to be careful of the depth as well here, yeah? Yeah, this is... Uh, the only thing I don't like about this place is, obviously... It's right on the area where the, the big boys are. I mean, you can just constantly hear them in the distance. It's so creepy and ominous. But uh, at the same time, absolutely cool. I mean, I take it they, if you set up a base here, they'll just, like, attack your base. Is that how it works? And you, you can reinforce your base and things, can't you? I don't know. I'm going to have to look into it all. I've still got a long way to go in this game. That's the way it feels feels very much still like I've just scratched the surface. Oh, oh, fuck. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Oh, fuck. Are you fucking joking me? Are you joking me? Can I repair that? <laughs> Is there any way of repairing that? Or <laughs> should I just make another one? Or I better go up. Oh dear. It blew up. After all that time. After all that time. I'll be trying to make the damn thing. It's the sea glide. The battery's gone on the sea glide. Oh god. This is uh, amazing. This is great, folks. This is exactly. How things go for me? Yeah, that's miles away. Oh, my beautiful little sea moth. Jesus, you cannot see a damn thing down there. Wow. Yep, I used up all my batteries, didn't I? Can I not take a battery out of something else? Like, maybe the Pathfinder tool? Put it in the sea glide? Is that a thing? I'm gonna try that, okay. So, pop that pop that in there. Let's assign that to there. And that didn't work either. Oh man. Jesus fuck my face. So, don't know where that went. Did I just fucking drop that? Oh my god. I'm such an idiot. I just dropped the sea glide as well. <laughs> there it goes. My sea glide. It's going to be the end of it. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, my sea glide. Don't go too far. Don't go too far. Just land on that mushroom. Oh, it's right there. Just stay there. Stay there. Passing 200 meters. Oh what is that? The Pathfinder dropped that as well. <laughs> of course I did. 
Alright, let's head up. Oh my god, I'm utterly retarded, like... See, I could just edit all this out, but I've been keeping it in because... I, personally, I find it funny. But, uh, I can see how it can be a bit frustrating, but... I mean, that's... to me, that's funny, like... That's just stupid. Absolutely silly. Yep, I'm absolutely hopeless. And it, to me, there's just something funny about that. You know, it's, it's kind of like one step forward, two steps back. <laughs> That's the way it feels for me. Right, can I do something without fucking it up? Let's see. Uh, go to X. We'll take out the battery. Right. Go to the C glide. Install the battery. Hooray. I'm going back. I need to get my repair tool, and then I need to come back out this way. Just where are we here? We're fucking miles away. Anyway, I don't know where we are. I can't even see the Aurora anymore. Is that it? In the distance there? Yeah, it's just rendering in. Holy shit, I am way, way out here. Alright, let's go. Can I get that Seamoth back, or should I just make another one, folks? That's my little dilemma at the moment. Wow, what a crazy episode already. So I had the Seamoth, then it got destroyed, and now I don't have the Seamoth again. So, short and sweet. So, shall we make another Seamoth, folks? And some batteries and stuff? I think we should. Right, uh, let's get on with some shit here. Let's do some fucking shit. What the fuck am I doing? I don't even fucking know anymore, so fuck you. Right, let's have a look in here. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know what that was. It seemed like some sort of weird character, but I don't know. Right, so if I take the scanner and make the scanner with the hanger and the hanger with the dinger, then surely I can make the thing with the swing? Does that make any sense? <laughs> uh, I worked out in the edit again that, yeah, you can fire things with that, it's a bloody weapon. Right, anyway. Right, I've got these mushrooms. Right, I need to go and find copper. Whoa, I am absolutely farming the ocean here. So be it. I'm in the right place for copper. That's what I was looking for. Let's go to the blueprints for a minute. Oh shit, I've got all that reading to do that I said I was going to and I didn't, so there. Fair enough. Uh, is it limestone? It is. So I need to find a limestone. Can you just leave me alone? You never get any bloody respite, do you? Uh, to hell with these. Get rid of them. Hello. Uh, now what was I doing? What are you doing there? That's weird. Floating about. Counter! Okay. Hey. Alright, let's go and get some more copper. I'm looking for copper, mate. Where is the copper? Sand sharks are in there! <laughs> I was just going to say, the sand sharks in there are in there. That's, uh, that's not good. Copper! Copper! Yes! At least I came to the right place. Oxygen. Oh yeah. Grab the quartz while I'm here, why not? Oh, look at all this quartz. Decent. I'll grab that as well. You're damn right I will. It's handy, that. Aha! What we got here? Titanium. Copper ore, yes. And we're back here. Okay. Now this would be a good place to build, wouldn't it? Right next to that thing. For the uh, geothermal power source. Anyway, let's make some batteries. And I got rid of it. I got rid of my uh, mushrooms. No, 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 I didn't get rid of them. I was just putting them there for safekeeping. That was all. Okay. So. There we go. That worked out, didn't it? That was exactly what I planned. 
couple of batteries, let's go. Right, make the power cell. Alright, so I need glass, I need lead, lubricant, and another ingot. Lovely. Now I've got an ingot in there. Lucky I made all those ingots, eh? Hey folks! Lucky. <laughs> glass! Here you are. So I need two of those. Ooh, that now. And that's exactly why I left that there, folks. Because I knew that I'd be needing it. At this exact moment. You see? Just a bit of forethought. And all I need now is the lead. And I think I've got lead somewhere. I'll just have a quick look in there. Alright, back to the mobile vehicle bay, which is over this way. Seamoth Mark II! <laughs> here it comes. We'll call it the Mark II, eh? Alright, here we go. Get in there. Oh god! Hey! It's the Seamoth Mark II, folks! Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, we're back in business. Nice. We're back, folks. Oh, I've hit something already. What have I hit this time? I don't know. Something. Oh, it feels good to be back in the Seamoth, though, I have to say. Quite noisy, isn't it? Alright, I'm going to leave this here for a minute. Uh, let's see, we'll jump out. And we'll head down to the scanner room. Wow, look how bright it is. That's not... is that wasting the battery? If I leave that on when I'm not in it, does that waste the battery at all? I'll switch it off for now, just in case. Yeah, let's get in here for now. Ah, oh, lovely. So, stream data from scanner room to the HUD. That would be interesting, like... Computer chip and magnetite. Now, I remember that cave I went down into, and that had magnetite in there. The only thing is, is I'll need to see him off to get in there. Can I remember where that was? That would be nice. I've got silver and I've got gold. Maybe do that one. Yeah, let's try it. Silver and gold. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right, I'm just gonna stick that freaking thing away. Where's me silver? Here's a bit. Let's craft that up. Nice. What do I do? Do I put it in there? I think I do. Yeah? That's it, isn't it? There you go. It's an upgrade. I think it's worked anyway. Let's uh let's look for let's look for fragments. What have we got? A bit right there. Are these bits that I've not found already or or is that the, what is that right there? Oh, it's finding more. Cool. Now, they're, they seem quite close by, these fragments. They're sort of like light blue ones as well. What are these? Oops. We might put a window here. That'd be cool. Let's have a look at that. Window. Oh, right. Upgrades. Hull reinforcement. This is what all this diamond and whatnot is for. There's the polyalanine. Easy for me to say. 
Storage module. Seamoth prawn compatible. Ooh. I want all this stuff. All of it. Wow, I'm going to have to get crafting up. Well, I think that's going to be in the next episode, folks. Oh, shit. Torpedo. Sonar. Oh, my God, this prawn suit. Prawn suit. Ruby. Okay. Uh, what? Kyanite? Crystalline sulfur. Nickel. Haven't even found any of these things yet. Vortex torpedo. Wow. Oh Christ, it's massive. That's what she said. <clears throat> no. So what is this then? I want that. Plasteel ingot. Lightweight high capacity tank. Does that go into the sea moth or is that from my back? That looks like it's from my back. I would love that. I'm going to make all this in the next episode, folks. Or at least start trying to make little bits of it. I'm sure I can make some of this stuff. This is interesting. Ruby, where did I find that? Oh, don't tell me, but at the same time, help me out. But don't tell me. But, Christ. Scanner room upgrades. Yep. So, did that one. We got the Cyclops now. It's all starting to uh, open up a bit. Engine, bridge, hull. Alright, what was I doing? I was looking for a... Was I looking for a... Something. A window, that was it. Alright, let's... Let's pin that. Let's do that and then pin that. What do I need? Just glass. Just glass. I'll make a couple of bits just in case. Uh, no, I won't. <laughs> Lucky I took that other bit of quartz. Alright, let's listen to the radio. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attack. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Ooh. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Well. Burial. Carrying high priority. There he is. It's his remains. Oh dear. <laughs> He's a goner, isn't he? He's long gone. Now 900 meters was that. That's not it. That's the other one. Where the hell did it go? Is that it there? 900 meters down. Yeah, I'm going to need the sea moth for all this stuff. Reinforced sea moth, I imagine. Yeah. So that'll all come in the next episode, folks. That's for sure. Or at least some of it. I'm going to start reinforcing it. I'll need to get down into that cave, get some magnetite, see what else I can find down there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, I'm excited. All right, let's uh, let's 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 do this thing. Window. There you go. So pop that on there. Make that. It's made. That's it. But what was that about? Something. How do you reinforce? Reinforcement. Lithium. Oh, great. Alright, I'm not sure what I've done there. I might have done a bit of a boo-boo. I can deconstruct it as well, but it looks so cool. Look at that. I can see out. Oh, that's so cool. Alright folks, I think we're going to leave it here anyway. I've got so much to do in this game, it's it's overwhelming, it's, my, my brain is spinning, it's just... Bzzz. What's next? Uh, what's important? What's... Uh, where do I find this? Where do I get that? What do I do? Where's... Oh, Christ. You know what I'm saying? It's, it all gets a bit too much sometimes, you know? It drives me a bit potty. <laughs> right, anyway, we're going to leave it there folks. Once again, thanks for everybody's comments, all the advice, all the encouragement. It's really uh, spurring me on, and uh, I'm really loving this series so far. I'm loving this game, even though it's a bit of a head fuck. But 
Apart from that, it's endearing, it's so... Oh, I don't know. It's such an adventure. I'm getting a real sense of adventure from this game. And danger. Don't forget the danger. I'm going to leave it there, folks. Like and subscribe if you haven't done already, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. But until then, cheery bye, folks. Cheery bye.